Last time on 8 bit players. Mekude de a se oha eight pe de ba manaha ku. After the aftermath at the Jose shore, our group enlist Belgamine to help them train Yuna. And then we fought Nachoa! Yuna defeats Belgamine by summoning Ifrit and is rewarded with the ability to customize her Aeons. Welcome to Pimp My Aeon. Today we're dealing with this dragon. Can we make it cooler? Let's find out. After a short walk, our group makes their way to the Moonflow, a river that glows with pyreflies. We're not waiting till nightfall. Blue balls. Then we get to fight another Achoa. After an awkward silence by the group towards Titus, our adventurers have to rush to catch a shoe puff. What? Oh my god, it's Snuffleupagus' cousin! Does that mean it's not really there? During what seems to be a peaceful ride, the unthinkable happens, and Yuna gets kidnapped again. Walk and Titus rush to her aid and vanquish the machine that has her captured. Oh no, the revenge of the pitching machine! Man, better than Sharknado 2. Once on the shore, our group discovers something on the beach. Oh my god. It, it's a dead body. It's a dead body. We need to get the hell out of here. Turns out, it is our friend Riku, who had saved us when we first made it to Spira. Whoa, fan service in three, two... I'm like math. You just do me in your head. After a quick meeting, it is decided that Riku will become a guardian and help protect Yuna on her journey. What? Wow, Waka hates the Albed so much he can't even recognize one. I feel like there's a lesson in there somewhere, I just can't find it. Oh my god, how many of these things are there? I thought they were important. Our party makes their way to Guado Salam where Yuna's presence is requested. Riku then shows us how to customize our weapons. Welcome to Extreme Makeover, Sword Edition. That's right, 13 hours in, and we're still in the tutorial. After a quick snack, Seymour appears, and begins to show us the history of Spira. Then we get to find Najoa! Okay, guys, I am tripping every ball right now. Like, like, all the balls. Seymour then makes a request to Yuna, and to everyone's surprise, he proposes to her. You serious? What, what, what the hell? He's hitting on our woman! Tatus, man up and do something, man! After a confrontation between Seymour and Orin, Yuna requests that the group go to Question. the Far Plane so she can talk with her parents to make a decision. We Guado are keen for the scent of the Far Plane. Uh, no, no Titus. Bad Titus. You don't sniff without permission. After consulting with the images of their families and Titus coming to terms with his mother's death, everyone. the group attempts to leave but are stopped by the ghost of Lord Jeskel, Lord Jeskel, who secretly gives Yuna a sphere. Lord Jeskel. Holy crap, what is that? It, it's a zombie? There are zombies in this game now? Wow, it really does have everything. Our party waits for Yuna while she tries to find Maester Seymour. A further discussion is had about the proposal. Yuna returns after finding out Seymour has left for Makalania Temple, and it is decided to continue on through the Thunder Plains to find him. Kill my son! Holy crap, they made their way to Mordor. How are we supposed to cross that? Our heroes face the dangers of the Thunder Plains until they reach a shop Please. where they decide to rest for a while. Ah, 
our greatest opponent yet. The cactus. Oh, holy crap, and it turns out he actually is kind of strong. 